I've, I've eaten kalo. You've eaten it. How many of you guys eat kalo uh, or taro every week? No, oh, jeez. Every week. All right. Yeah, solid. Anybody eat taro every day? The Hawaiians, they, I guess, they, I've heard that the average Hawaiian would eat almost two pounds of taro a day. Oh. So, like, you know, when you think about the Hawaiian culture, that they lived here so sustainably for so long, and they didn't damage the land, but they actually took really good care of it. You could look at Kalo, and you see the taro growing here so nicely. You could look at that, and they really looked at it as, like, the staff of life, you know? Like, this was, like, the number one crop of the civilization. And so if we have anything to learn, you know, from the people of this land, it, I think, like, eating taro would be such a good thing for all of us to start doing. And it's so easy to grow. It grows really easily, like, much easier than wheat or rice does on the island. And you can just plant a little bit in your backyard and, like, all of a sudden you have some to feed your family. And then, guess what? When you grow it, then you get more seeds, too, because more babies come off the plant, more keiki. So it's such a cool plant to grow. I, I highly recommend people eat more of it. The other thing, too, if, like, we all started eating kalo every single day, that would mean that we would need more kalo farmers on the island, right? We would need more taro farmers. So the more that we eat these local starch crops, the more jobs it creates for our community. So this is a really cool garden, really pretty. Uh, I'm stoked on it. I, I wish all our patches looked like this right now. Um, but like I was saying, it's been so dry that we've kind of let a lot of stuff go fallow. 